Hi guys, CJ here. So very quick video. I thought I'd do a video. I'm in a good mood. The sun's out. In fact, actually, no. Um, this is the most amazing thing ever. I should show it to you. Now, I don't get paid for this. Bobbleology. I should get paid for it. So listen to this jingle. Bobbleology. Bobbleology. Drink some bobbleology and get some energy. Now, listen. If anyone knows anyone in the head office in Bobbleology, or whoever the CEO is or manager director, they need to buy that jingle from me and use it as their... Um, as their advert so cheers bobbleology guys if you haven't had this this is i think it's the passion no it's not it's like a burst of something whatever it is oh gosh let me have some more mm. and then they've got these little things that burst in your mouth oh my god the most amazing thing ever anyway listen the main reason for this video is not to talk about bobbleology mm. Mm. When it pops in your mouth, it's got these little flavours. I can't remember which ones I've got. I've got bits of jelly in there, and I've got something else in there. Either way, most amazing thing ever. But again, I know you guys didn't come here to see me eat and drink Bobbleology. I keep mentioning it like they're paying me. You're not paying me. It's just an amazing product. So I wanted to talk to you about service accommodation. Now, it, you know, a lot of people struggle with how to find out whether a specific location or whether a specific property actually works for them. So, for example, if an agent offers you a property or you come across a landlord or, or you come across a property that you feel might be suitable, you might not know whether it's a property that's going to work and what sort of returns and what sort of occupancy you're going to get. So let me just give you some, my phone just fell off there. Let me just give you some basics. So generally across the market, you should kind of analyze things on at least 70% occupancy. So 70% 70 occupancy is 21.6 days. So calculate your averages per night. We can come to that at a later stage. Calculate that, um, let's say it's 100 pound per night times 21.6, that's 70% occupancy. Now, if you're in central London, you have to bear in mind, central London's a bit different from the rest of the, of, of, of the country. We have, I think about 18 million visitors coming into London every single year. That accounts for the reason why hotels charge astronomical prices. That accounts for the reason why service accommodation does well in central London. Let me try and put my phone here just in case so you guys can see me properly. So you know that life isn't always perfect and bloopers and mistakes do happen. So I hope you can see me. Boom, let me have some more of this. Mm. So 70% occupancy. Let's, um, we'll bloop that out. Let's pretend that didn't happen. You know, I'm actually going to leave it in there. Um, it's life of trying to do a YouTube video and give content while you're in the car. Um, so my holder's not even working properly, but life goes on. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll hold it from there. 70% occupancy, 21.6 nights. Um, if you're in central London, depending on the location, depending on the quality of the product that you're offering. So if it's a two bed in a luxurious um, building, um, the quality of what you're providing, you might be able to push to 85% occupancy, which is actually 26.35 days. So when I mention 26.35 days, I'm talking about the days in which you times by your nightly rate. So how to research whether a location works. Now there is no actual secret or no formula to it. Now it's easy for me to understand what goes on in London because I've got a number of units in London. I've sourced hundreds of units in London, um, but it's kind of the best way, as I mentioned, is 70% or 85% occupancy. But the best way to analyze this and to kind of gauge what you can charge in your local area is to look on Airbnb and booking.com. Type in the specific location of the specific property that you're looking at and someone in that area, whether it's uh, 0.1 mile or 0.2 miles away, will have a property running service accommodation in that same area. All you need to do is analyze what three or four people are doing, pick the average from there, and there you go. Then you take that same research and you go into booking.com. So that was Airbnb. You go into booking.com and you do exactly the same thing. Type in the location. From that location, you will get a handful. Make sure you select 
service accommodation or accommodations or apartments um, as opposed to hotels and you'll be able to see what other people are charging in the area I don't care whether you're putting a jacuzzi in your house in the middle of bloody um, Hackney you can put a jacuzzi you can put a pet lion in there you can put a pet giraffe in there you're only going to increase what you can charge in that area give or take 10% so if the quality of what you're offering is not as great as what everyone else is in, reduce it by 10%. If it's better, increase it by 10%. You can't automatically try and determine a new rate because of the quality of what you put into the area. So it's the same thing as if you were renting a house in, in London Bridge. There's a going or there's, a, there's kind of a benchmark for the rental market. So just because you put luxury carpets in doesn't mean you can increase your, your rent by an extra £1,000 per month. It just doesn't work. And it's the same thing for service accommodation as well. So number one, as we mentioned, is make your analysis on Airbnb. Type in the postcode. Look at the amount of people that your property can sleep. Then type that into Airbnb and look at the comparisons. Do exactly the same thing for Booking.com. If you're planning to take this deeper, if you're looking at maybe picking up five or six or 10 units in one location, maybe you're taking on a building, um, then you might want to look at systems and, and companies like AirDNA. AirDNA, it gives you great analytics, gives you great insights and specifics into what's going on in a specific area. Those are the key things that you need when analyzing um, what can work in a certain area and what will work in a certain area. Now, the other thing as well is if you come across property that's near a hotel, now you've pretty much struck gold because you have to bear this in mind, for a hotel to start a hotel business, they have to procure the land. After they procure the land, let's say they buy it for a million pound. Now they have to do whatever research and development. They need to find out whether they can drive traffic there, whether it's going to be a viable plot of land for, for the business. Um, then they have to build the hotel. Then they have the running cost. So it might cost them one million, two million, three million, just before they even start to make a profit. And that's why service combination is amazing because we can rent the properties from landlords, agents or developers and start a hotel business without millions and millions and millions in the bank. And because rent to rent is such a great model, it means if things don't work out for you, then you give the property back. And that's what I love about the model. I hope that helps, you know, forgive me for all the stuff falling up and down, but listen, I'm not, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm just a bubble allergy, bubble allergy, drink some bubble allergy and I can't remember my own jingle. Anyway. Mm. Cheers guys, see you soon. Ah. Yeah, yeah.